We're joined now with uh, Fort Wayne Lures head football coach Matt Lindsay. Uh, the uh, uh, Lures team nine and five on this season. Coach, uh, the program going for its eighth state title on Friday. When you started the sectional, sitting at four and five on the season, did you and your wildest dreams think that you'd get back to Indianapolis playing for another title? Um, yeah, we thought this was possible uh, all summer and all fall. Um, we knew there would be some growing pains with this young team and uh, inexperienced team, basically, and uh, we knew it wouldn't be easy. And as that came to pass as well, we had a lot of ups and downs and highs and lows with this group, but uh, we knew we had some uh, tremendous talent and that this is, was very possible. Talk about your schedule there in the early going. You know, you're a 2A school, but you did not play a two-way program those first nine weeks of the season. That says a lot about your team and their focus. They didn't hang their hats, or rather hang their heads at the end of the regular season. If anything, that has allowed them to fight through adversity and uh, their battle tested heading into the playoffs. Well, we think so. The SAC is a great conference, um, and we have no choice in who we play. It's a 10-team conference, and everybody plays everybody else. Uh, there's some great advantages to that. Um, we do see a lot of styles, a lot of athletes, a lot of size, a lot of power. Uh, it does prepare you for the tournament for sure. What's been your sort of, you know, re uh, regular, I'm sorry, your uh, recipe for success here the last couple of weeks? Scoring 45 or more points a game for the last five weeks. You beat state runner-up last year, Lewis Cass, in overtime. Uh, how have you been able to find your groove here lately? Uh, we've got some tremendous skill kids. Uh, we've been able to get out of the gate fast, uh, jump on top with the exception of the regional game where we had to battle from behind. But um, I think fast starting, taking care of the football. We uh, got some very good special teams kids and uh, great kickers and uh, tremendous returners and they've made some plays or people have chosen to kick the ball out of bounds and that gives us a short field. So uh, a lot of factors. You won the state title in 2007. That was two years ago in the RCA Dome. This will be the first time your team has played in the much bigger Lucas Oil Stadium. How do you prepare for such a drastic change in scenery? I don't know. I haven't been in the arena yet, so I don't even know what it looks like yet. But uh, I don't think it's going to be much, much different. Uh, we've been, some of these kids have been here before, um, or at least been inside. And, um, but it's, I'm curious to see, really, after we practice, uh, what kind of environment it really is. You're playing arguably the best team in Class 2A. Monrovia unbeaten to this point. They've earned a lot of respect this year by knocking off number one Ritter. Uh, they sort of look like a team of destiny. How do you plan on stopping their patented uh, running game? Well, I don't know about team of destiny or arguably who's number one. I think that'll be decided Friday night. Um, I think anytime Bishop Lures takes the field, we think like, we're going to win. Um, but they do. They've got a great running game, and uh, we got to get after that. And not let them chew up time and chew the clock and move it down the field. Uh, but it's a challenge. It certainly will be a great challenge. That, uh, we're looking forward to it. Coach, how healthy are you at this point? Uh, we're in really good shape. we got no injury issues, and uh, hopefully it'll be that way all week. Coach Matt Lindsay from Bishop Lewis, thanks so much. All right, thank you.